So in a previous video, we discussed what a lumbar disc replacement is. Now I'm going to discuss how exactly it's done. We go through the front, so through the abdomen. We go between the abdominal muscles, we don't cut them. And then we go behind the intestinal sac called the peritoneum. And we gain access to the front of the lumbar spine. Then the disc is actually cut open and removed, what's left of it. And at that point, after the end plates of the bone have been completely cleaned up, and all the disc has been removed, I often have to remove part of the posterior longitudinal ligament. This is a ligamentous release that allows me to restore a collapsed disc's height back to its normal height. Then I insert a trial, which is a metal device, which is a similar shape of the actual artificial disc implant. This allows me to make sure that the proper size is used for your disc space. After the trial is selected, then I impact a chisel, which actually cuts into the vertebra above and below the disc space. Then I impact the actual artificial disc replacement implant into place. After the end plates are inserted, I insert the polyethylene core into place, and this is snapped into the lower end plate of the metal. Then the inserting devices are removed, the disc base and the wound is irrigated and closed up, and that's the completion of the operation.